Welcome to today's Lunch and Learn at Work session. Today we're going to focus on the DASH eating plan, which really means dietary approaches to stop hypertension. You've probably heard of this and maybe even done some searching about it online at our government website. This program is brought to you by Get Moving Get Healthy New Jersey Workforce and is funded by the New Jersey Prevention Network. So what is hypertension? Well, it's a big medical word that means the same thing as high blood pressure. And what high blood pressure means is the amount of force of your blood as it's throat flowing through your arteries and the pressure it puts on your artery walls. So you, when you get your blood pressure taken, you know that you have two numbers. You have the systolic pressure as the heart beats and that goes over the second number, which is the diastolic pressure. Both numbers are important, and you should know what they are. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, is also known as a silent killer because about one-third of 50 million Americans don't even know they have it. You need to have blood pressure checks regularly to find out if you have blood pressure issues. And your doctor may want to schedule a yearly exam to keep track of it. You may even be put on medication to help reduce your blood pressure. So why is it so important? Well, high blood pressure can cause stroke, heart disease, kidney failure, and premature death in the United States. This is a big killer in our country. So we need to pay attention to it and do the best we can to protect ourselves against this type of silent killer. So what minerals would be important here? The DASH eating plan is about a method for eating healthy foods that can help reduce the incidence of high blood pressure. Well, research shows that calcium, potassium, and mag magnesium all help to reduce your blood pressure. There are some good sources of calcium as well, and that would be your low-fat dairy products like yogurt and low-fat milk and low-fat cheese that help to reduce that as well. And when it comes to those foods, you want to limit your serving size too. A cup of milk or yogurt, now that's eight ounces, is a serving, or one and a half to two ounces of cheese is a serving as well, and that adds up pretty quickly. A half cup of cottage cheese is also a serving. How about some of those sources of potassium? Well, you probably already know about some of these, that bananas are high in potassium, but did you know that cantaloupe, oranges, and some other fruits and vegetables are also high in potassium? Also potatoes. And some dried beans, like pinto beans, chickpeas, and lentils are good sources of potassium as well. Want to try to incorporate these in our diet as much as possible. So what is a serving of fruit or vegetable? Three-fourths cup of fruit or vegetable juice is a serving. That's not very much. What you need to do is take a look on a liquid measuring cup and figure out where that number is and then pour it into your favorite glass and see how many servings you're really drinking every day and then try to modify that. A half cup of raw, canned, or cooked fruits or vegetables is a serving. And that would be the same thing as about a medium-sized apple or banana. About one cup of raw leafy vegetables, for example, in a salad, would also be a serving. So where can we get this magnesium in our, do our diet? Uh, legumes, which are dried beans and peas, are a very good source of magnesium. So is rice and potatoes and bananas. And a serving side, size would look like a half cup of cooked dry beans pasta, or rice. Think about that the next time you are out at a restaurant eating these foods or the next time you prepare it at home in your own kitchen. What is a serving and how many of them am I eating? How do I eat the DASH plan? Well, there are some simple strategies you can follow. 
first you want to start small by making just a few changes at a time to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Get more milk into your meals to get your calcium levels up and to increase your other minerals. And when it comes time for snacking, reach for fruit and vegetables first. It's a good idea to start your day with a whole grain cereal. That means you have to read the label on the package. Fat-free milk and sliced bananas. Here you'll have a wonderful start to the day with lots of minerals and nutrition. Or maybe you want to make a chocolate milk mustache. That would give you a chance to have some wonderful calcium in your diet. Dash recipes and menus are created with lots of seasonings in them rather than fat. They may have lots of herbs and spices to season up the food so it tastes really good rather than using fat to increase the flavor. Um, the Dash diet has something to do with keeping your low sodium uh, at bay or the amount of sodium or salt you have. It's not mainly focused on that, but you do want to reduce the amount of sodium you are consuming. And the way you can do that is to reduce the amount of convenience food, fast food, and condiments. I'm talking about ketchup, mustard, relish, that type of thing, to reduce the amount of sodium in your diet. The best thing to do is to use herbs and spices to season your foods and not salt. What about if you go shopping and you're really focusing on the DASH diet? You want to make sure that you're looking for healthy, nutritious foods. Um, and that would come in the form of fruits and vegetables and low-fat dairy products. And you probably want to have more of them in your shopping cart than anything else. Um, have a gallon of milk as a snack, as a beverage as a thirst quencher rather than a case of soda pop. Soda only adds sugar and some sodium and uh, coloring to your diet. It doesn't give you any nutrients, so use something nutritious. How about some milk? How about some fresh greens on a salad um, and have that instead of potato chips? That's an easy swap, isn't it? How about lots of garlic and herbs to boost up the flavor in your foods? How are we going to stock our kitchen to be prepared for the DASH dry diet? We want to make sure that we clean out the fridge and get rid of any foods that have been in there too long, maybe looking kind of soggy or limp or not in very good condition. So we want to make sure we have good, fresh fruits and vegetables that are available. Um, make sure you have some milk, lots of it, so the family will reach for milk rather than anything else when they're thirsty or need something to drink. Of course, water helps to quench your thirst too. And make sure you have room for lots of grains and nuts and legumes and uh, fresh and frozen vegetables and cheese and yogurt, especially low-fat cheese and yogurt in your refrigerator. So what makes a good snack on the DASH diet? How about some unsalted pretzels or nuts? The nuts will help to give you some protein and a little bit of a boost of energy too. Or you might want to change out your latte or espresso and make it skinny so that it doesn't have the high fat dairy product included. Have some yogurt and some little bit of fruit on top. What a great snack. And you can take that one to work too. Fresh fruit or canned fruit in juice is, uh, in its own juice, is very good. They make great snacks too. How about crunching your way through your day with some veggies like carrots and zucchini and peas and broccoli and cauliflower? Have you ever had string cheese? That's pretty tasty and you can buy it in single serve packages as well. Have some cheese and an orange for some real boost of flavor and energy. A handful of dry cereal is a great crunchy snack um, if you add a little bit of raisins and have some milk with it. Or if you can, have a smoothie made out of fruit and yogurt. So if you're making the DASH diet work for you and your partner, you might want to 
Build your entire meal around produce, meaning fruits and vegetables. According to Choose My Plate, half of our diet should be from fruits and vegetables, so keep that in mind with every meal that you make. You might want to have a, a baked potato and stuff it with some roasted vegetables and serve that over the potato. How about a yogurt parfait made with some fresh fruit? And shop at stores where you can request small servings from the deli. Have them slice it for you so that you get exactly what you want and the thickness you want. And you save some money from those ready-to-serve individually sliced types of packaging. Make sure your freezer has single size servings in it and especially some homemade meals that you make your favorite stews or vegetable soups or pasta sauces so that you're ready to cook um, when you get home from work at the end of the day. If you're trying to keep your family on the DASH diet, it's basically like helping yourself the way we did in the last slide in terms of keeping a nice variety of foods in your home because it's very important that we try to prevent our families, our children, from becoming having hypertension because it can be passed genetically to begin with. So if, if that happens in your family, if you naturally have that, then the foods you eat are only going to increase that incidence. So we want to help our children understand that we need to eat a lower fat, lower cholesterol diet. How about involving your children in the menu planning, the shopping, and the food preparation? Children will taste food if they are part of making it. They love to help. Give them some jobs to do. Teach them to participate in family activities like planning a meal and cooking it. And don't forget to be adventurous and try some new foods. Um, maybe try a theme dinner with your family. Ask for the input from your children to see what they would like to have. Now let's say you're away from home and you need to be thinking about your DASH diet. You want to look for menu offerings that are marked heart healthy um, in some way. Some restaurants have a little heart next to the menu offering so that you know that that's something that's a little healthier than some of the other options that are on the list. Choose foods that are low in soy sauce and other condiments because these tend to be very, very high in salt and sometimes in fat as well. Ask the server to leave added salt out of the preparation, maybe even not have it on the table as well. And when you have a chance, grab fresh fruits to eat on the run and do your shopping at a grocery store instead of a convenience store. Not only will you save money, you'll save yourself lots of fat and calories as well. How about looking for the salad bar and get some nice fresh fruit or yogurt or some wonderful veggies and string cheese and baby carrots to go along. There are so many choices in your grocery store for healthy on-the-go eating. Take a little supermarket tour of your own, look for these foods and know where they are. We need to change our lifestyle. There's no question about it. For many people, that may include losing weight. So keep in mind that even 10 pounds can make a huge difference in your blood pressure every day and the amount of strain on the various joints like your knees and your feet and your hips of your body. We need to get moving. We need lots of physical activity because that in itself will help lower blood pressure and cholesterol. You need to limit that alcohol intake because that's not doing anything good for your body and you shouldn't smoke either. Okay, let's do a quick summary of the DASH lifestyle. You want to include at least two to three servings of low-fat dairy products every day. You want to eat to 8 to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Stop smoking and limit alcohol intake. If you're overweight, you know it, and you need to lose a few pounds, work on that. Increase your physical activity and you'll be able to lose that extra weight. Maintain an adequate amount 
of nutrients in your diet, especially calcium, magnesium, and potassium for your health in general, but also help to reduce your blood pressure and cut down on the amount of fat you eat. This is how we can all be healthy. All of us should look at the DASH diet for optimum health. Some of us really need to depend on it to make sure we can maintain a healthy lifestyle. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. Please look forward to joining us for additional Lunch and Learn sessions. Have a nice day.